Hello, my dear students, and welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Ebe. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about atoms, molecules, and ions. Now, I will start with explanations on atoms. Now, basically, what are atoms? Okay, atoms are simply the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. An atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. For example, this is an element. Let's take example like chlorine chlorine is an element the smallest particle of an element okay chlorine for example chlorine atom let's say chlorine 35 17 an atom is the smallest particle of an element which is chlorine for example that can take part in a chemical reaction for example this is chlorine so basically, you don't call it chlorine molecule, you call it chlorine atom, okay? Chlorine atom, okay? It is called chlorine atom. Okay? If we take example like sulfur, sulfur, this is sulfur as an element, okay? Sulfur. This is sulfur atom, sulfur atom, okay? It is not pronounced sulfur molecule or chlorine molecule, it is pronounced chlorine atom when it is a single atom, single atom. But now, talking about molecules, what are molecules? Molecules are the smallest particle of a substance that can exist alone or independently and still retain that same chemical identity of that atom for example this is same chlorine atom take note for molecule a molecule is made up of at least two atoms a molecule a molecule is made up of at least At least two atoms. So, for example, this is chlorine atom. Chlorine atom. A molecule is made up of at least two atoms. These two atoms of chlorine. So, when they are being added together, they form a molecule of chlorine so it will be cl2 because we have two atoms of chlorine so basically this is pronounced chlorine molecule it is pronounced chlorine molecule it is pronounced chlorine molecule for example we are given another element like phosphorus phosphorus this is phosphorus now, phosphorus atom is the symbol for phosphorus is letter P, and this is an atom of phosphorus. Phosphorus. Now, take note: phosphorus is an atom. This is basically phosphorus atom. But now, what is the molecular form of phosphorus? Phosphorus is made up of four atoms. Phosphorus molecule, rather, is made up of four atoms of phosphorus. So basically, if one to form phosphorus molecule, we get something like P3515, P3515, P3150, P3150. So when, they add, when we add them together, we get P4, which is basically phosphorus and white phosphorus. Okay, it is called white phosphorus, and white phosphorus is toxic. Okay, white phosphorus is toxic. So basically, for atoms, they are single elements. They are single elements. They are single elements, but for molecules, molecules are made up of at least two atoms. 
So we said that a molecule is the smallest particle of an element that can ex sorry, the smallest particle of a substance that can exist alone or independently and still retain that same chemical identity of that atom. So for example, this is chlorine atom. Now, this is also chlorine molecule. This is chlorine molecule. The chemical identity did not change. It's still chlorine, and here is still chlorine. Now let's move over to ions. What are ions? Basically, ions are charged atoms. Ions are charged atoms. Ions are charged atoms. Now, atom with the charge is called an ion. Okay? So when we have something like this, when we have something like this now, sodium. 23 11 positively charged. Now, and also we have chlorine minus 35 17. When an ion is positively charged, it has a positive charge, it is called a cation. But when this ion now is negatively charged, it is called an anion. When an ion is positively charged, it is called a cation, and also when that ion is negatively charged, it is called an anion. Now, group of atoms which behaves as a single charge unit is called a radical. Okay? Group of atoms which behaves as a single charge unit is called a radical. For example, we have the sulfate radical. Okay? This is the sulfate radical. The sulfate radical. We have different kinds of radical. They are group of atoms. Okay, sulfur here, oxygen, combined together, and they have a single charge unit. These are called radicals. Now, I believe now we now understand the concept about atoms, molecules, ions, and radicals. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Energy.